Okay, concerning all the things that I've been talking about lately on this channel, we need to go way, 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 way back. Back to, um, Socrates. Um, we need to, we need to go way back. Back to ancient philosophy times. Uh, when Socrates, and when Plato was basically documenting, and documenting what he was saying, and also using Socrates as a voice box. Um, Socrates said one important thing that... Well, when he was searching around, he, when he was looking around for every single, he was looking at every single oracle to find out, like, who's wise and, you know, who's the wisest and figure out, you know. He's figuring out all these things and he's searching in all these things. And he goes to the oracle, the Delphic oracle, and he, the, the oracle apparently says to him, through Greek, um, pagan, uh, pagan type rituals it's saying that Socrates you are the wisest of them because you know that you know nothing Socrates you are the you are the wisest you are the smartest because you know that 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 you don't know shit this is something that we need to take into account in, in any in any course of philosophical investigation and thought okay you know, you know I you know Wittgenstein said that said that said that he knew that he knew philosophy, as did um, as did Russell, as did um, Quine, as did Kant, as did Berkeley, Spinoza, Locke, all those people, all those huge philosophers and every most philosophers today, and ethicists and theorists say think that think they they say that they know things, they know philosophy. It's what they're saying, but. You need, we need all, if in, any, in any philosophical course of investigation or thought, we need to, one needs to keep in mind that you know nothing. And that regardless of how much you read, regardless of how much you write, regardless of whatever you think about, and regardless of how much you learn, you still, what, what, what you have learned is still a microcosm to the, to the infinity of things in philosophy and sciences and, you know, things like that, 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 that can be learned, so it needs to be noted in any philosophical uh, course of thought and investigation that you, that you know nothing. Now, I'm, I think that, I, I just, I just came to this realization because I was one who was doing this, I was thinking, yeah, I, I know, I, I know philosophy, I, I got some pretty good ground in this, I, I know what the hell I'm talking about in most cases, but I need to, you know, I'm one of these people who needs to think I hardly know shit. So this is, you know, this is something that is big and needs to be taken and taken into account. Um, I know that I know nothing, even though I might feel like I know something. So, and this, this, this is good because this provokes a desire to learn more and to learn as much as possible. Because if you are satisfied with how much you know, then you're not there, and then you, then you are, you, you, you are leading yourself to the satisfaction with what you know, and you, you might, at a certain point, come to the realization, or come to the, to the decision that you know everything that you need to know, and you don't need to read or know anything else. So, you know, this is just, this, keeping this thing, this thought from Socrates, from, from the, from the Delphic Oracle in mind, this provokes a desire to learn more, and it's a desire to think more, a desire to create more theories and things like that, so, anyway, there's a good thing to keep in mind in doing any kind of philosophy, so, have a great day.